Hello everyone, Yuki from Anthropology, and today I'm going to show you our shelling and filling capabilities. So what is shelling in Anthropology? We take an implicit body and create a hollowed out version with a thickened outer wall. And the wall is thickened either inward, outward, or equally in both directions with the center input. Now shelling is ideal for lightweighting and works really well when combined with our volume lattice block to fill the hollow space with some lattices. So if we go back to this file over here, you'll find this nice suspension assembly that I downloaded from GrabCAD, and I can start picking out which parts I want to shell. So in this case, I want to shell this upper control arm. I can simply select that, convert that body into an implicit body. And while it's doing that, I'm going to bring out the shell block over here. And once that has it completed, I can nest these blocks together, specify a thickness, and by default, it's going to select that inward direction. I'm going to let that run. And once that uh, has completed, it will run that very quickly. I now have a shelled part of my control arm. Now, if I wanted to change the direction to something like outward, I can simply bring that drop down menu, select outwards, and it's going to run through that workflow again and recreate that new shell. But this time, since it is going outwards, it is creating a mold of our part. So this was the original part over here in reference of that different color, and this is our new shell. Now, what if I want to shell multiple parts at the same time? With anthropology, you can do that. Rather than selecting one block and bringing it out over here and shelling it individually, I can create an implicit body list over here. And these are all of the parts that I want to shell. And all I have to do, again, bring that shell block, nest these blocks together, specify thickness, and it's going to run through the shell workflow 11 times because it has to shell 11 different parts. And it's going to give that same thickness to all of the parts over here. And the direction, I have selected the inwards because I want to retain some of these shapes of the part. And maybe later, I can do some volume infill. So as that runs in a matter of a couple of seconds, it's going to complete. I can section cut this open. And you will now see that I have 11 parts shelled with a five millimeter thickness. So one of the last things you would want to do is probably infill your shelled part with some lattices. So what I did over here is that I used a custom block where it will shell the implicit body and fill it with a volume lattice, which it has done over here. And this has done, this has been done to all 11 of my parts that I have selected that I wanted to shell and infill earlier. And you can see that in this block over here, you can change up the lattice types. If you would like to change up the cell sizes, um, you can also rotate the lattice if you would like to change the lattice thickness, shell thickness, and you can also blend that lattice between the lattice and the shell. I hope you have a better understanding of how shelling and filling works with anthropology, and I hope you learned something new today. Thank you. Did you know you can download these files and try them yourself? If you go to anthropology.com and under videos, find a video you're interested in trying out and download the files. With the shell and fill anthop file, try importing your own CAD bodies and see how easy and fast it is to shell and infill it with some lattices.